Hello everyone. I'm down here by my garden with two of my grandsons. They went to a barber the other day and they didn't have enough money to get a full haircut as you can see. So now they gotta live with a strip of hair up the middle of their head, which grandpa ain't fond of to be honest, but nothing I can do about it. But here's two potatoes. They're organic potatoes we picked up at the grocery store and they started sprouting on us. So we're gonna plant them inside of tires. I have a tire here and a tire over here. And what I done is I cut some sticks about seven and a half, eight inches long. I put one there, one there, and one right down here. And the purpose of the sticks is because as these potatoes grow, I'm gonna put another tire on top of this one. And I don't want the weight of the next tire pushing this down and flatten it down because we're gonna fill this area with compost along with the middle. And that way it gives the potatoes more growing area. And then once they sprout up, we're gonna put another tire on, add more compost, fill the next tire up with compost around the inside of it, along with some sticks to support them to keep them from flattening down. So it gives the potatoes a lot of growing space as they, as they grow over the summer. I have these, this tire here and that tire here. So we're gonna see how many potatoes we can get off this one little potato on and this little potato on each tire as it sprouts up we'll just keep adding to it as you can see there's some weeds here and stuff i have some old cardboard we're going to stick in the bottom or underneath this cover it up on both these tires the best we can try and keep the growth of them weeds down and then we'll add these compost and get these planted okay we got the cardboard down now Wyatt and logan are going to start filling this tire up with this mulch most of its corn stalk bales that i ground there may be some leaves in here but they're going to start shoving this back into the tire and get the tire filled up yep. push it back in the tires boys get it backed in there like this we have to cover it up the sticks yeah just push all the stuff back into the tires keep going Okay, I'm going to get another bucket we'll dump in there. Keep shoving it back in the tires. You got to fill the tires clear up. Push it back in the tire. Like this. See how Grandpa's showing you? Okay, get it pushed clear back in there. Well, we can do one. Just keep pushing it back in there. We got to get it nice and full. Oh, see a little bit of cardboard. Okay, I'm gonna put some more in there. All right, see if that'll fill it up. Keep pushing it back in. Pull it back towards you. Make sure your tire's good and full. Yeah, strong. Okay, now we're gonna plant the tire uh, potato down in the tire. And now we're gonna push that down a little bit. There we have one planted. Now we'll come over and do this other one. Dump that in there, Wyatt. Okay, start filling the tire, boys. Pull it back towards you. There you go, shove it back in there. Pull it back towards you like Grandpa showed you. Logan, push it inside the tire. I can't believe I'm touching Like this, look. What can't you believe you're touching? I can't believe I'm touching poop. Horse poop? That's good for you. How do you think I got so big? I touch horse poop, plant and garden every year. Okay, we're gonna have to shut the camera off. We gotta go fill up three more buckets. Okay. Okay, we got some more buckets full. Go ahead, Wyatt, dump them in there. 
All right, now push it back into the tire. A little bit at a time, Logan. Not just pile it up. You got to tuck it in there. Got to tuck it in, see? This way. Pull it in this way. Push it back up in the tire. See, there's a big hole there. See how there ain't nothing in there? So keep pushing it back in there, Wyatt. This is the only way you're going to get a kid to learn is show them by example. As you can tell, they're still learning. They really don't like helping Grandpa. They'd rather be up playing video games or watching TV. I'm tired of breaking, trying to break them of that habit. Ready for the next one? Yep, I'm ready for the next one. Let's do the let's do this one. It's got a little bit more horse manure in it. Let's try that much. See if you can get that tucked back into the tire. Push it real hard. I'm gonna add a little bit of greens. Okay. I think the tire's pretty full. So now we'll set our potato down in there. And then we'll finish dumping this on top of the potato. Now we'll just kind of gently push it down a little bit. Push it down a little bit, Wyatt. Push it down a little bit. As you can see, there's some paper. This is some paper that I ran in my chipper shredder. Some cardboard and stuff. I take empty cereal boxes. Uh, junk mail, stuff like that. I run through my chipper shredder and put it right in the mulch. It's better than going to the trash to the landfill. Okay. okay, that's good, I think. Well, as these sprout up, We'll take another tire and we'll put sticks in them like we did these three, or these three sticks in this tire. That way as we put the tires, they don't flatten down, the sidewalls collapse in, it gives them more growing space. And that way you don't have to use as many tires, but I got plenty of old tires laying around. But hopefully that'll increase the production of these potatoes are growing, growing more potatoes out of one. I'll just, as they sprout up, we'll add a tire and fill it with compost. And hopefully get an abundance of potatoes off each one of these. Well, thanks for joining us. And see you all in the next one. And if you guys have done this before, uh, tell me about the results you had in doing this. If you use tires or I've seen where people taking wooden frames and, and just kept adding wooden frames, stacking them up and such. But if you've done this, experimented with it and it turned out good, tell me how your results were. See you all in the next one. Don't forget I love you. Bye.